A new study on the timeliness of COVID-19 symptoms may reveal the severity of the virus later on. Researchers at King's College looked at six clusters of symptoms, which could help doctors identify patients who require more care. Armela Aragali has details. This data in aggregate is helpful. We can, you know, as public health experts, know which patients are most likely to get um, serious complications. It's a massive study that focused on which of the various COVID-19 symptoms may indicate someone will have a severe case. Researchers grouped nearly 3,000 COVID-19 patients in six clusters based on their symptoms. Flu-like with no fever, flu-like with fever, gastrointestinal, and three severe levels that include patients with fatigue, confusion, and those with abdominal and respiratory symptoms. Researchers found clusters 4, 5, and 6 were more likely to have a severe case and require ventilators or supplemental oxygen. If you have the confusion, shortness of breath, uh, severe abdominal pain, those are absolutely reasons that you should be in touch with the doctor and just be on high alert. Dr. Michael Hockman directs USC's Gare Family Center. He says those symptoms, particularly confusion, which is a sign that the body is overwhelmed by an infection, extreme fatigue, shortness of breath, and extreme abdominal pain tend to be associated with more severe cases. If you're developing high fevers, confusion, difficulty breathing, chest pain, any of the normal symptoms that would cause you under normal circumstances to consider getting medical attention, all those same rules still apply. But, Hockman says, as the study illustrates, a fever alone shouldn't be cause for panic. A fever is an indication that your body is sick, it's fighting hard against an infection, but it's also a healthy, normal immune response. It's less about the number, but about how you feel otherwise. If you're feeling very dehydrated, if you're feeling confused, severe headache, um, not able to work, severe fatigue, unlike what you typically would experience with a cold or flu, that's a reason um, to call the doctor and get more attention. Hockman and other health experts say the findings can help doctors determine which patients to follow up with more frequently. Studies like this give us the insights that we can know which patients to target those resources to, those patients that we're really worried about that we want to make sure we follow up and check on and don't lose sight of. Health experts say if you do test positive, it's important to remain vigilant regardless of your symptoms because you can progress into a more severe cluster. And that was Hermela Aragali reporting there.